Hi Julie here and welcome back for another walkthrough and speed edit of this um, cute little piece that I made up called um, Fairy Stories. So this is the final piece um, and I'm just going to do a quick breakdown of what I did. So I started with um, this image which was taken just in a parkland locally um, and I altered the coloration of the leaves and darkened it down a little bit. I also then copied it and flipped it so because I wanted more leaves um, sort of over on this right hand side a bit. Um, so what I did then, oops, going back, where am I? Um, okay, so I brought in my book um, which I just shot on a table in the studio and I just um, extracted that. Um, put some shadow and um, in behind it. Um, I also put a little bit of um, fog in behind it. What I also did was using a um, brush that I've got that's grass and leaves and things like that. I went in and I um, brushed out a little bit of the book so it looked like the leaves were going up and over it. Um, and then I bought in the Raven, um, which uh, is courtesy of a friend of mine, Kelly. So thank you, Kelly. He's gorgeous. Love him. Um, and I just extracted him from the original photo, which was um, this. He was just on a timber table, um, but he just looks so good. Um, so I extracted him, put some shadows in, add a little bit of a glow to him. Um, lightened him up a little bit. Um, I also then I had this crown which is from It Cooperly from Mischief Circus um, and I popped that in. Um, I then um, my little Wren which um, is just from my photo library I popped him in as an extraction and put some shadows in underneath him. Um, then I also had this key um, which was also from Mischief Circus. I really liked it because the crown sort of matched in with this, the whole sort of fairy tale thing. Um, and I put a twig in his mouth um, and changed the hue on that one so that it matched in with the autumn tonings up here. Then I had this overlay which is um, autumn leaves and I honestly can't even remember where I got it, so sorry. Um, I ran a couple of actions from the Colour Lab. One is Into the Woods which I had dropped down to 70% and Marigold um, which I dropped down to 75%. Um, so both of those are fine art actions at the Colour Lab. Um, I then took it into Topaz and gave it a little bit of a Renoir um, look to it um, in Impressions. So it's got a little bit of a texture in it, but then I did drop that back to 35%. So at 100% it's way too painterly, um, as you can see here. But I dropping that back to 35% just gave me a little bit of a painterly touch to it. Um, I then took it into Boris FX Optics and did um, some light rendering in there. So there's various different lighting effects that I used in there. Um, you'll see them in the speed edit. I then did a colour lookup. Um, this one is teal orange, which I had set to multiply at 15%. I then also did a bleach bypass on soft light at 42%. Um, I then did um, a S curve and then um, painted it out where I didn't want it. So um, there were various bits that I didn't want it to appear. Um, I then did a dodge and burn. Um, I did another curves layer, this time at multiply at 17%. I then added a light glow in up here to sort of tone the image a bit more. I then used a texture by Sue Masterson, um, which is one of her fiery pack, um, which is brilliant. 
um, and that was set to soft light at 10% just to sort of tone the image a bit more. Um, I then had these lovely little um, fairy glows from um, Carol and um, Julia Moore and I popped them in as well. So it's sort of, you know, a little bit of here and a little bit of there. Um, I did use a texture, which is one of my own textures. Um, and I then also ran that through um, Topaz Restyle and I used a nature um, preset on that, which um, did tone it down quite a little bit. Um, and again, then I did a details layer and that's the finished piece. So um, I really do love the sort of autumn tonings um, and everything in the piece. I did play around with recolouring my little wren here, but I actually love just having that little pop of blue um, in amongst all the orange and golds and reds. Um, it just made him stand out a little bit more. So um, thanks for watching and I'll follow this up with a speed edit. Bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.